Silak aseng over Lianinga, Nuna Tuali Mami, Uhumaga Yoyuk, at two thousand Luni Nuna Lini Nigumituk, a Niguti Gundalukoni diamic carbon dioxide, Sakuta Hatog Inunut, Pinian de Hayunut Uvagut Avatatinut, Tamali Luni Lu Huntai Jarini, Nigumitsiluni Nuna Tuatinik, Ipinavut, Takuninga, aseng over Lianut, Nuna Tinit Mana Luatsiak, Amma Nigiogi Bogut. At two gala landing a nick, a munitival la lutillo. A la lunit, sacutoyut, puce you megalopatalunit, a twinning at Suli Gaushi Langabuk, Unutunut Yarinut, a twilunit king of Atinik. Climate change is a 12 month, 24 hours a day, 365 day event. Is it going to change? Well, it's already changed. How much it changes? really depends on the rest of the world, on how serious they take this, and how serious they are about meeting their targets to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Climate change adaptation is, I think at its core, it's adapting to the impacts of climate change and learning how to move forward in a changing environment. Adaptation is a series of deliberate and comprehensive actions that a community takes to help avoid, manage, or reduce the effects of climate change on human and natural systems. To ensure adaptation measures are relevant and effective for communities, we need to translate scientific information and indigenous knowledge and ways of knowing into action and build regional capacity and adaptation expertise. This means working with indigenous peoples and governments, including community-based initiatives to build capacity for adaptation action and address the specific risks they face due to changing climate. <laughs> Ukiutatub, Nunang in Silat Swami, Nigumilival Layuk, Pimagitumik, Angiutita Hatasimalituk, Asiminit Silat Swami, Ukiutatum Iluna Ilunangat, Nigumitsival Layasimabuk, two point five degrees Celsius, Ungatani one hundred tight, Yarin Ismagiluit Asingini, Silat Swami Unut, Miginitamik, one degree mid. Tamako Asangoval Layut, Anginitsao Hatal Bullo Ukiup, Taking in me. Nigumining Maho Sima Yumit, Takut South Luni Ufalo Alad, Pingasu Sima Yunut, Aoyami Nigumining Anut. Nigumit took silak, cutting a hatigi luit, Nigumining Ima Piswak, Sakitisima book, Our Lea Yunut, Atuni Hatsia to make Sikunik, Sikuk, Ikilimilwa Hatabuk, Ukat Sami, Ama Takoya Hatasutik. Nimoval learning on it, Hanitangani thirteen percent to it, Diamangani nineteen seventy nine a minute. Tamako, Illina toot, making it sour ukiumi, Sikuk it tuning a Nimoval lea limmyuk, Angitigayumic ten centimeters yarimi. Sulea was wayuk, that swimming a pitchutaimut ukuang wood, smart eyes, Sala Hasima you two thousand sixteen a me, Ukiuta tub, Pigoma hotta yumut. Sala Hasimayut, Amma America, me, Litagi Yautlutik, a Sangoval Layunut Silak, Situtia Tausuk, now Naikutanganik. Smart Eyes Unawuk, Mahulingayuk in Ulimanut, Kamaloa had the wood slayer had the twillu, Ilaudit Sigamut, Pusy to Hanik, Hoy Mayo Yunut, Ilingani Hayunut Sikumik, Hoy Mayo Witunut. So in the Arctic, the climate has been changing for the last decade. It's not something that's necessarily in the future. So I think we need adaptation happening now to allow people to cope with what these new conditions are, the unpredictability of changing climate. Smart Ice integrates sensors on the ice, so technology and Inuit knowledge to make sea ice travel safer. So it gives the information almost in real time in some cases, where is the ice dangerous? Where is it safe to travel on as normal? So Smart Ice is actually a working climate change adaptation tool. And I think what that does is put 
directly into the hands of the community what they need to do to address climate change. In the Hayok Labrador, Sajuangani, Nain, Civil Ligi Outluni, in New Low Cook Down Smart Eyes, people let Tissimayut, Amma, New Katatau Sumik, Sikumik, Kamautimik, Tana Sulang Yuxuli, Nalim Mibuk, Sakuritsi Hatayuk, Nunami, people let our Sunik, how Mautitsigal Lasanut, Sanyao Rayatunut. I mean, we, we come from a small community and we hear about climate change all the time. The Labrador Current is waters made up of all the water in the north and it flows down to the Labrador coast. If there's a change in a couple of degrees, it's amazing how much of an influence it has on our everyday lives. Like we see changes just overnight. One of the instruments that we use, uh, we call it the Smart Commodic. What we do is we try and get it out as soon as the ice forms, put the instrument in the ice and then we just leave it and it freezes in and then it distinguishes the temperature of the water, temperature of the sea ice, temperature of the snow and temperature of the air all one time. I think Smart Ice has made a difference uh, so far because um, I mean we're not just talking about uh, knowledgeable people that uh, use the sea ice. Uh, we're also talking about uh, young people who don't have a lot of knowledge. So they have like hands-on with everything that we do. And it gives them the opportunity to be out on the sea ice and they learn traditional skills. It's something that we continue to try and do and uh, hopefully we'll do it for many more years to come. Taimang in 2000. How is it eat? And the one point two degrees, Nigumi level less in my unique. How is it in the tunic? The Hami Canada me, Diamond in two thousand eight, Nalewit, our lay unique. Only one less in my litut, Nani to inak, how is it my hunting anic, who killed that to me? Sakit it's a yumic, Nunab Hangani, our yumic, I'm a situa unique. Vlo cinquante. Les ingénieurs, quand ils arrivaient dans les villages Inuit, voulaient construire, par exemple, je prends l'exemple des Kaluit. Les ingénieurs euh, pensaient que le sol est essentiellement gelé pour toujours. On a construit des infrastructures en ayant une perception du sud. Puis malheureusement, on voit le changement climatique qui affecte le sol, donc la fondation même des villages puis des infrastructures qui commence à dégeler on voit beaucoup de déformations dans les pistes d'aéroport, on voit beaucoup de déformations dans les maisons. On a fait des avancements majeurs en, en ingénierie du pergélisol. On s'en va dans la bonne direction, mais malheureusement, il est trop peu trop tard, mais on s'adapte. Les chercheurs puis les, les communautés Inuit ont beaucoup d'expérience. Tout depuis 5-10 ans, donc on essaie de transmettre le savoir scientifique aux Inuit pour qu'eux puissent prendre leurs décisions. Parce qu'eux, ils voient le terrain Les changements climatiques, eux, ils le voient d'une façon différente que nous. Eux, ils vont le voir plutôt par des formes, ils vont le voir plutôt par euh, la migration des caribous. Euh, nous, on, on met des données, mais eux, c'est par le transfert de connaissances, par les, les « elders » qui appellent dans les communautés. Ilangit kada juhatigit tunga viliuyut hanuk nuda lini pigas di sitao yatunut kawis sa kiamut ikayu lang abuk inunik kawis utiliu kiamut pichutigil luit hanga amma nani ingi kaya hatamangamik ilagyal do tay ko kawis katsaid ala utiliu tao hatanetut na unay tao yut amma atu tao sa utiliu luit kena kutuin nanut sulay ka katihaluni inutuin nanik amma kui nuna kaya ngini in the Hayunut, Hudson's, Kangitloani, Tan Ukiu Tatub, Timianut, Timianut, Sulaka Punga, two thousand seventeen, amid Google Likut, at Twini Hayut, Abu Mautigayoyuk, Sulango Yuk Sala Hasimayut, Siku, Sibuligayoyuk, Utuatosimatuni. 
Siku is an Inuit knowledge Wikipedia and social mapping platform that's intended to provide self-determination for Inuit for research, education, and environmental stewardship. The idea is there's all these different data portals out there, but there really hasn't been an interface for Inuit that's by Inuit. So an example in our community, one of our elders, Peter Katik, is out at the flow edge every day in the winter and he's been seeing the diets of seals change from Arctic cod to shrimp. He's seen it, so he has a data point every single day. And so now with the mobile app, he takes a photo of the stomach content, spatially tagged the photo, the photo's GPS reference, it can show up on the community's timeline. There's been a lot of precedent groups like uh, Facebook, Nunavut Hunting Stories of the Day, but they're giving up their intellectual property rights. And also if you want to mobilize that knowledge, it's near impossible. You'd have to scroll and scroll to try and find the hunting story you told last year, for example. So with Siku, it brings together all these social media mapping tools. So it's, it really helps with the new self-determination and research. So people can come up with their own questions and scientists don't have to second guess and prove everything that we already know to be true. So. <laughs> Amma at tuyo taku nangat ilun nagot maluguyo ni kaluwaluni inun nitinik nalunang ilak nunalit na ni tuyo nakta kami suli pinyan ni kalangabot at tuyo hatsya tunik amma ilukusik kud at tuyo taka utsay kayat tunod pinyan ni kalangabot sungyo tigyan miksilak asyang walay ni nganut piusit sanik. I think that it's important to prepare communities to take advantage of opportunities that climate change brings. It's not always negative, it can be positive. We live in a different, different world now versus say 20 years ago in the north. So I think by using different technologies and stuff for say research, the kids still get the traditional information and it guarantees that our traditional ways continues into the future. There's so many opportunities across the board with adaptation and for you know, anyone to bring it into what they're doing um, and also to be building um, healthier, stronger communities. Adaptation is that's, you know, the, the goal of adaptation. And I think something that's extremely important for people to realize is that climate change is but one challenge amongst many. And it's not always the most important or pressing challenge. A healthy person, a person that is physically healthy, mentally healthy, a person who has strong identity, well, that's somebody who's going to have high capacity to adapt. Federal, provincial and territorial governments need to support vulnerable regions by investing in infrastructure, strengthening capacity, supporting community-based monitoring and advancing research, monitoring and information for coastal regions. Many communities are already implementing these best practices. Adaptation is an individual, communal and global responsibility.